to the stage another ASAP alumni. Um, she's a mom and an Air Force veteran. Put your hands together for the very talented Melissa Eric. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Helen. That's awesome. Yeah, as Fred said, my name is uh, Melissa Aaron. I'm a mom and an Air Force veteran. I did 20 years, one month and one day in the Air Force. But I wasn't counting. I did 90% of my Air Force career also as a mom. Suffice it to say, I put up with a great deal of whining, hair pulling, temper tantrums. Then I'd leave the officers at work and go home to my kids. <laughs> They weren't all bad. I mean, I actually worked for some pretty great officers, some, you know, not so much. I hope I actually get a chance to run into them again with my truck. <laughs> it's great to be back up on the ASAP stage, putting into practice some of the skills that they taught us in comedy boot camp. The first thing they taught us about stage presence was to hold the microphone at your chin. I was the only one in my class that had to raise her hand and say, which one? <laughs> There's like six of them girls hanging out down there. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, they're really there. Makeup is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Thank you, I'm already married, but thank you. <laughs> I retired eight and a half years ago, and since then I've put on a great deal of weight. Because I said I was never doing PT ever effing again. <laughs> In fact, I joined an exclusive club known only as the FPP. It stands for the Fitness Protection Program. <laughs> Its job is to keep all forms of health and fitness away from me. I think it's been wildly successful. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is though, gaining weight kind of wreaks havoc with your bladder. So does having two kids and being old, but I'm gonna blame it on the weight. <laughs> the first FPP group that I was looking for was actually females peeing pants. <laughs> but they, they turned me away. They said I needed maximum overnight support. The women get that. But they only provided late, light daily support. So that's how I ended up at the fitness protection program. I joke about my bladder, but my bladder now empties like a stadium after a large event. <laughs> There's that first little bit that tries to trickle out ahead of everybody else. <laughs> Gotta beat the rest. Then there's the big push everybody's leaving. And then there's that last little group doesn't want to leave until you physically force them out. You know, you think that's a bad thing, but you know what, bladder problems, they have their upside. I can now pee like a man. That's right, I can pee standing up. I'm doing it right now, but you can't tell. They don't call that stuff poise for nothing. <laughs> yeah, one of the things I've picked up in retirement is uh, I coach the joint base Langley Eustis women's varsity softball team. I, I used to play softball. In fact, um, when we went and uh, applied for ASAP, they asked what your traumatic brain injury was. <laughs> and everybody else in my class was like, you know, I was shot eight times and I died twice and all this other stuff. <laughs> so hey, Melissa, what was your TBI for? I knocked myself unconscious playing softball. <laughs> yeah, they actually were like, well, yeah, Air Force, that's about all you guys are good for. <laughs> anyway, so 
so I'm, I'm, I'm out on the field. I'm teaching the girls the fundamentals of softball. My third baseman picks up a ground ball, throws it to second base, almost nails her in the face. My second baseman is like, she's a little scared. She was like, I'm like, what's the matter? She said, I, I, I lost it. I couldn't see it. And I said, Patty, hit her in the chest. Hit her at chest level. I said, hit her in the boobies. <laughs> the next throw, Patty picks it up, throws it, nails Vicky right about mid-thigh. She said, Patty, honey, not my boobies, her boobies. Y'all have been great. That's my time. Thanks for having me.